this is not when well, I'm not speaking here about any particular state. Um, uh, uh, this is actually an appeal to politicians across the board. PDP, APC. President Jonathan and General Buhari, they have to stop the hunting season on police officers. And can you please take the message to them? And I, I want to repeat myself. PDP and APC, President Jon Jonathan and General Buhari, they have to go public and stop the hunting season on police officers. This must stop. This month alone, we've had over 28 police officers killed. Let me repeat myself. This month alone, we've had over 28 police officers killed in this country. Can someone please tell me why we have to kill police officers for politics? And if we cannot protect our police officers, if the people who are seeking political office cannot protect police officers and prevent them from being killed, how can they pr promise us that they can protect ordinary Nigerians? And the PDP and other personalities in the Kitty State, upon receipt of that petition, we formally wrote letters of invitation addressed to the governor of the state and the chairman of the PDP in the Kitty State for their response. We are happy that you are here to represent the governor. The PDP chairman is here in person and other officials of government. I would want to tell you straight away that the National Human Rights Commission of Nigeria is going to investigate the petition clinically. When they made that petition before us, and when they read the petition to us that day, I informed them that Upon the receipt of those allegations, it was a sad day for us here at the Commission. Because here, we are getting at a time when Nigerians should be working together to ensure that we elect leaders for this country. But more particularly so, we said that one, this commission would ensure that the allegations are investigated. And if it is proven that they are true, the commission would take appropriate steps to enforce the rights of the aggrieved persons, no matter who is involved. Because with respect to human rights violations, there is no immunity against impunity. I believe, to the best of your, uh, of your investigation, you decided not to go ahead with that petition. So, however, I wish to posit that a, a delegate inquiry into the security situation in our dear state will reveal that since the inauguration of the new government, the state has been peaceful. And any isolated cases of alleged breach Breach of public peace have been reported to the police who are statutory saddled with the duty of investigating investigation of crime without any interference by the government. In this circumstance, I wish to implore your commission not to allow self-serving politicians to immerse your com commission in partisanship and thereby tarnishing your image of being the national unbiased watchdog and vigorous defender of the rights of the citizenry, which role your commission have played credibly well over the years. Most particularly, we have heard the ingenious idea of mobilizing both electronics and print medias to merely submit a petition to your office, thereby making allegations which should be subjected to a thorough investigation and verification to look as real. You want to submit a petition, you, bring, you, you are bringing here 
channel television, all the electros media, all the press media, just to submit a petition. A petition that is supposed to be subjected to scrutiny among these incidents is the case of the alleged murder of one Odelo Gudu Gege by the state chairman of our Progressive Congress, APC, Chief Gideawe, and his cohorts on 30th March 2013 at Eregenio Kiti, which happened to be the very hometown of the state chairman of APC. The police investigated the matter and indicted the suspect and four others and charged them to court for prosecution. But surprisingly, the government of Dr. Kyle Defayemi, using his attorney general and commander for justice, Wale Fakon, the Esquire, frustrated the ends, ends of justice by filing a no-let prosecute against all the suspects on 11 February 2014, a case of pure murder charge. Another notable incident was the case of murder of one Folusha Ogundari by one Honorable Bolu, Bolu Wade Kendi, a legislator in the Ekiti State House of Assembly elected on the platform of APC, and eight others on 3rd of November 2013 in Emuri Ekiti. The person that was, that was murdered here happened to be a member of the Labour Party. He's not even a member of our party that has taken over government, but upon protest. The case was also investigated by the police, and the suspects were indicted, and their prosecution even commenced before the High Court at Emuri Ekiti. However, the process of justice was again truncated by the government of Dr. Kayo Defayemi, using his attorney general, Wale Fako, the Esquire, who entered no less prosecute in the matter on 15 September 2014 without any justifiable reasons.